Hello and welcome back to Reptiles and Research. So you want your bearded dragon to have substrate to dig in, but also support those joints. So option one I have for you is pure play sand. Now using play sand is cheap. It's very low dust if you wash it and it's very easy to clean because it's very easy to sieve by being sand. However, it doesn't really support their digging too much. Yes, it allows them to do the digging behavior and the actual motion of digging, but in terms of holding structure, it kind of falls back into place because it's dry sand and it doesn't really do much for like resistance in terms of exercise and the way that they dig. The only way that it holds consistency quite well is if you dampen it in like that sandcastle like structure and most of us aren't really going to be doing that either. And the other downside, whether this is important to you or not, is that obviously pure play sand doesn't support much plant life. Option two I have for you is your topsoil slash play sand mix. Now this can be done by mixing the two substrates in a bucket beforehand or you can mix it straight in the vivarium. Doesn't matter. You can use any sort of topsoil as long as it's free from manure and free from fertilizers. Most people go for straight up organic topsoil. This can be done at different ratios. Some people go for like a 50-50. Some people go for like a 70-30 in favor of the topsoil. Again, this is pretty cheap. It does support plant life and it can hold burrows pretty well as long as it doesn't desiccate and dry out. However, if it does get dry and does dry out it tends to compact down and gets quite difficult to work with it doesn't hold burrows and it gets very much in the same way as like the, the pure play sand does where they can dig in it and it just kind of moves it and when it does dry out and compact down like that it gets very very dusty also and it's kind of a little harder to sieve than just pure play sand by the very nature of the play sand just being pure sand but you can do it it's just not as easy as play sand. Option three is a complex DIY mix to try and replicate that red desert outback sand that they get obviously in Australia. Now I achieved this by mixing different commercial substrates that try to imitate that red sand as well as mixing in excavator clay, mixing that all up into a bucket and then putting that in the enclosure and then allowing that to sort of like bake dry. So what happens is it stays kind of humid underneath but the surface goes really dry and crusty so it's really good at holding in microclimates for your bit of dragon to dig down into. Obviously this is really realistic and it holds the burrows really well if you get it deep enough. And again, it offers a lot of resistance for your bearded dragon to dig against and really get those muscles working and really get that exercise in. And it does support plant life. However, it is so hard to clean. So you can't really sieve it because it's like hard on top. So you kind of have to like take your feces away with like a some paper towel. And then almost like I was, what I did was scrape the top layer off in that, in that particular patch with like a trowel to remove like uh, water from urates and things like that so in terms of like how it is to clean it requires so much more management than the other two substrates and again over time because you're doing that and you're scraping and blah 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 it can get very dusty so what you tend to do is i used to spray it down to rehydrate that top layer and then let it dry out again and then bake solid again so it, it just it, it requires a lot more micromanagement than like the other substrates especially more than topsoil um, or even just the straight play sand. There's a stark difference between pure play sand and this complex management situation for this other substrate. The straight play sand is probably the least optimal in terms of what it actually does for the bitter dragon, but it also is the most convenient. The sand does allow them to exhibit the behavior of digging and it does support their joints. So it's meeting their needs just about, but it's not like doing crazy amounts for them in terms of what the other substrates are doing, like option three or the complex mix. But the complex mix needs so much micromanagement, it kind of depends on what you want to go for. As long as your dragon can exhibit these digging behaviors, then I will support you in which other one of these options you want to pick. If you want more guide videos to all things Beer the Dragons, the ones we've already made and the ones, the bucket load of ones that are coming, subscribe to this channel and go check out some of the other videos. Apart from that, I'll see you in another video.